back with the new blog new year new truck and like always on my previous blogs i always get too ahead of myself and i start doing a project without realizing that i need to record <laughs> it's just sometimes i just get in the zone and i forget to record because we are are in daylight saving times and we only have so much uh, light to do what we need to do so i pretty much have this truck that came from Napa Valley, he messaged me on my TikTok and then uh, he got a hold of me through my uh, Instagram page. He scheduled an appointment to put real tubs and doghouse. Um, yesterday, the truck did come, which I think to yesterday was the the 6th, because today's the 7th um, of uh, January. So with that being said, we got straight to it. Let me show you guys exactly what I did right now. And hopefully, whether I get here tomorrow or the next day, I will be able to show you guys how I did this side. The problem is, this one is a little bit bigger than the 36 inches. So I had to modify a little bit on the side. But it looks like it came like that. So, quedó al 100. Vamos Lona, here it is. As you can see, it's all tacked all around already. Completely on it. Um, So these are 48 inches. So these tubs are a lot bigger than regular Chevrolet ones. And I had to do a filler plate, as you can see right there. Put a filler plate so you're not going to be able to see it once I seam seal it. And also on the opposite side, I got to take the... Right there, there's a filler plate. But there it is. Like I said, I did not show you guys how to do it. But if I get a camera guy, I could do this side. The problem with that is it was raining today. It stopped and I usually like to say about two weeks, but I know that it's faster depending on the weather, but I like to give myself time. However, this job was already scheduled and I had another one that's going to come, but I figured I would finish this a lot faster than I can. But like I said, I am fighting the weather. So today is currently Saturday. Uh, tomorrow, if anything, I'll probably do that side and I can show you guys exactly how much I cut. What I have to do, and uh, I can show you guys a before and after. So right now, I am gonna put seam seals all around. You can see that I put the filler plate right here as well. Um, once you seam seal it, you're not gonna see it, but it came out pretty good. So that one tomorrow uh, or Monday, I'm gonna cut all this out again use this as a filler plate for the bottom size and then cut as much as I need for it to fit completely like this side. So, like I said, there you guys go. It's a pretty clean little mamalona once it's ready. Let me show you guys. It's a Dodge Ram 1500 and he put the newer bumper style from the newer uh, 2013s. I'm not too sure if he's gonna do a front conversion or not but i mean for the most part you don't really see these so once he's done with the end he's debating whether we're gonna bag it or just put coilovers all around cut the differential for big billets which is 26 by 12 with a 10 inch lip so yeah here's the interior clean little single cab like i said you don't really see too many of these i believe it's a second gen ram well, first gen, but comment down below if you know exactly what uh, year Dodge is this going to be. And uh, yeah, that being said, I'm going to do the seam seal right now. And then I'm going to uh, paint that side because I don't want it to rust. And then I'll show you guys once I'm done with it seal sealed and painted. And then uh, we'll pick it up either tomorrow or, or next day so we can get the other side done. And uh, with let me let me get straight to work before I start training. Boys, <laughs> seam sealed. Al 100. 
I was gonna, I was starting to paint it when I was like, oh shit, I need to record. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint it right now. And then, yeah, this one will be done. I said either tomorrow or the next day we do this one. Then the doghouse and call it a wrap. So let me finish up because it's getting cold. And I'll pick you guys either tomorrow or the next day. Cigarrito en la almohada avión Que soy muy morrillo y cargo más que vos La nena se prende con perfume de or Tengo buena vida y me la doy de Dios Moviendo dientes como Montana Back again It's currently the third day of me working on this mamalona I'm gonna show you the way that I do the tub Especially when you're trying to run intros And you need as much uh, space as possible uh, There's two ways to do it um, You could... Uh, scribe your line and then cut it and then put the tub through the bottom to the top i mean a lot of people do that um it's just preference honestly i find my method uh, a little bit easier and and then uh maybe you guys find this uh and uh want to learn how to do it like i said this is not the right way this is just the way that i do them and never had a problem with them um especially like on this ram this ram like i told you guys yesterday the wheelbase is a lot bigger so we do need to make some filler panels on the side um so i'll show you guys in a little bit um i had already started cutting when i realized that i needed to start recording <laughs> so let me show you guys what i have so far and how much that i cut and why am i cutting it like this first things first these are from abs there are uh 36 inches long by 13 and then i think it was 13 wide on these if i'm not mistaken what i like to do i like to cut an inch off the sides so ends up being just just enough right above this and on this one like i said the opening's a lot bigger what i do is i i cut this bottom piece i scrub a line where, where it needs to be at and what i'm gonna do is this bump um if you don't get rid of this bump your tub actually leans to one end so i'm gonna scribe it here cut it so it gives me enough room for it to drop down uh, and then grind this area flat on both sides and that would give me where i need to mark here so what i do is i mark it cut before the line and then start slowly grinding it until i get it to fit once i get it to fit and get rid of this bump here um i leave this material here and once i get it to a bit flush to this piece because like i said i want to get it as wide as i can so I, there's no need for us to push it in um i scarb it in the inside and then i know where i need to cut off and then i cut it out so let me uh cut these out and then i'll show you guys right now when i mock it into place and i scarb what i need to scar to cut out now as you can see i did cut the line in the inside of the tub there it is so that marks it and see how see how you're able to finesse it so now um i'm gonna make sure it's level there right i'm gonna get a line and i'm gonna mark that so what i want to do is shave this down for this to fit in the inside and then this is gonna button up to the edge of this. And then uh, once that's done, if you can see in the inside, I'm gonna scar it from the inside, remove that material, we'll push it in, and then we'll tack everywhere around, and then this will be a wrap. And then all I have to do is do a fill a panel here, and a fill a panel here, like you see right there. So let me mark it make sure it's level and then uh and then we'll start trimming to get it to fit in there so like i said this is the way that i do it i found this to be easier than cutting from the inside of the bed button it up button it up button it up <sighs> this right here gives you less caps easy to butt weld both of them together because you're just trimming to fit to slide in there and then you'll be you'll be done so let me get the sharpie and i'll mark it and then i'll cut way before that and slowly and slowly finesse it to go inside shave it shave it shave it shave it 
to it fits flat and then grind all the metal down tack everything to place color the wrap so let me do just that and i'll show you guys in a bit the little slots that's what i like to do and then that's my line so i'm going to cut before this line way before and eliminate this material completely here and then i'll get the sanding disc and start shaving it down until the tub fits perfect once i get it to fit here then i know where to cut here from the inside if that makes any sense so like that you don't have a a dumb line you get me um like i said this method is very simple and it works great and then uh so let me start cutting this big guys right you see that's my original line on both sides now i'm going to put it there and start trimming until i get it to sit inside their flush so let me see that. it's already going in there and here so now we're going to start trimming the top piece so we get it to button up completely and then we'll mark it on the inside so yeah and i'm just using a grinding disc and slowly start grinding away so we make it to it and i'll show you see it fits up fine perfect so now i'm going to mark in the inside and cut that out and then we should be good we'll tack it into place and call it a wrap you can see that's my line i'm going to cut below this and then we call it a wrap slide in there and done so yeah that uses it just a little bit of time a little bit of time a little bit of time and that's it my boys so let me get to do that we'll tack it into place call this side a wrap there you go i tacked it into place let me show you guys how it came out there it is it's tacked into place minimum no no gapping which is good right now i'm going to tack the place in the inside tackle around make that filler panel there that one there do the doghouse call it a wrap my boys so yeah like i said don't overthink it just do it as long as you take your time you should be good so that's gonna look like this in a little bit let me finish this i'll pick you guys right now. so that's a filler plate this is a part of the actual tub i'm gonna clean it out we're gonna put it right there once i shape it to it and then it's gonna look like nothing happened so once i do that side i'll do this side i'll finish tacking here and we'll put the doghouse measure it tack it there call it good seam sealer that's it so let me get that shape to perfect and then uh, we'll tack it in and we'll Boys, do this thing. the panels are in probably seen it upside down and get the grinder out of the way so this is not rocket science anybody could do it honestly we just need a lack of a little bit of of uh of if you can figure things out dude it's simple so as you can see it's done this side is filler panels filler panels perfect now we'll do the doghouse and call it a wrap my boys but yeah finished product right there so like i said if you do it like that it's easy you can learn and you know you can save some bucks if you figure it out so let me do the doghouse and then we'll call this mama lona so just wrap. like that we're done <laughs> so i had to trim the doghouse a little bit since like i told you guys i wanted to make the tubs as wide as i can uh so whenever he goes big billets he has the room and he don't have to do it again so let me show you guys the finished product she widow you go my boys all stitched ready to go seam sealed damn johnny but yeah that's exactly how i do my tubs so you guys could try it let me know comment down below what you guys think of my method i'm gonna do a little cinematic and then either tomorrow i gotta go to the paint store to go get more seam sealed and then uh and then i'll get some more flat black and then call him a wrap tell him come pick up this mama lona she oh, well, custom be the name ram rear tops Que yo recuerde, la neta, nadie, nadie quería en mí a la verga.
nadie. Ahora todo es diferente. There you go, my boys. Finished product. Al 100. Like I said, you can tell that's a filler panel. Filler panel. It's all completely welded. Completely. And uh, yeah, once it gets to bell line, it's gonna look like factory, my boys. Like factory. I enjoy building this truck. It was actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm, I am talking to the guy, the owner of the truck. We're supposed to do either airbags or coilovers kits. He's still undecided on which route he's gonna go. But uh, yeah, he's very excited to get his truck. And, uh, and yeah, here it is. Like I said, trust the process. Everybody has to start from somewhere. You know, you could build whatever you want. It just takes time. And and like I said, um, hopefully in a year from now or six months, whenever he decides to do everything, obviously he told me he's going to end up painting it, which that's why you can see majority of the body work is completely done. It's straight. Um, so I'm assuming he's going to uh, paint it within maybe three to four months. And then uh, he has some rims that he's, he puts them on. Like I said, hey, this truck is going to be al cien once it's done you don't really see too many of these remember comment if it's a first second or third gen. no i think it's a second or first gen uh dodge ram but yeah like i said you don't get very many of these fixed up but when you do you'll be surprised big billets going on pretty soon so yeah there it is my boys so what's up it's been the fourth day working on la mamolona it uh, seems still came. I seam sealed it, and then I flat black it. Um, once he gets it bed liner uh, completely, it'll look good. They came out perfect. Um, yeah, like I said, these these uh, Dodge Rams they are a little bit different than uh, Silverados. Um, you do have to do those filler panels, but like I said, it's nothing hard. It looks real good. I'll show you guys the finished product right now, and then uh, I'm I'm gonna do a, a giveaway. Uh, so like that, my non-subscribers uh that watch my channel could uh don't have to buy anything i think i'm gonna do that you know as long as you subscribe to the channel you like it and you comment and i'm gonna go live and out of one of my one of my comments on one of my videos i'll let you guys know when um all you have to do is just comment like and subscribe which is very simple you don't have to buy anything and then like i said i'll do the live that once i know what i'm gonna be giving away um once you comment on a particular video that I'm gonna choose, uh, you can comment anything, an emoji, hi, where are you from? Doesn't really matter. As long as you, you comment on the video, I'll go on live and I'll pick one random one. I'll scroll up, scroll down, whatever which one I pick, boom. I'll get in contact with them through uh, through Instagram, get their address and I'll send them something. Um, I don't know yet if it's either gonna be a double din stereo or even a gift card. I mean, um, so, so yeah, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, so I want to encourage the ones that are non subscriber. I have 81% of, of watchers that are non subscribers to my channel. Um, just go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button to support me. Truly appreciate, uh, one and all of you guys. And like I said, I'm still giving away those free, uh, stickers. So don't be shy. Uh, send me a message on my Instagram and I'll send them to you. Um, with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next time. She widow.